Hi Sagittarius, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your month of December 2018 spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. I've added a lot of new stuff to the website, jamiezebra23.com. I've got uh, sage, incense, full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap. I have protection bracelets. I've got keys to success. I've also got uh, pendulums for divination and prophecy. All right, so this is for the month of December 2018. It's a general reading. This is not a personal reading, so it may or may not resonate. So be sure to check out your um, your sun, your moon, and your rising videos. What else? Um, yep. So Sagittarius, I'm rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Okay. So you've got the Ace of Wands. You've got the Knight of Cups. You've got the Six of Swords. You've got the High Priestess. You've got the Page of Pentacles. You've got the Five of Wands. You've got the um, Queen of Pentacles, which could very well be a king. You have the Five of Swords, the Three of Swords, and then you got the Lovers. So... Whatever romantic problems that you guys are facing in December 2018, by the new year, it'll all be solved. So if some of you are thinking that your boyfriend or girlfriend, husband or wife, significant other doesn't want to be with you anymore or that they're like slowly trying to back away from you, that they don't love you anymore, you know, they're being cold to you or there's arguments going on, that's something that is going to work itself out. And I feel like for most of you, there's going to be a reconciliation. I do feel like for some of you, the last retrograde of 2018 has been a doozy for you and really done a number on your relationships. You may find out that there was some infidelity during a retrograde. I feel like this is something either you did or something your partner did, but I feel like it's something that they really, truly, truly that they're sorry for, they regret, and they won't do it again. I really feel like this. I feel like whoever did the cheating feels so dirty and so guilty. They feel like they'll never live it down. Um, the thought of losing you is like the worst. The biggest punishment that this person could ever face. And if this is you that did this, you're feeling this way. But I feel like there will be reconciliation. I feel like people are going to let bygones be bygones. Yeah, somebody might be a little bit more paranoid. They might be trying to check your phone a little bit more. Trying to figure out what you're really up to. I, I mean, that comes with the territory. When you betray someone, that's what happens, and vice versa. So for cross-watchers, if you betrayed a Sagittarius, maybe the Sagittarius might be a little bit more, um, you know, possessive or wanting to know personal details, wanting to know passcodes. I think that's only fair if you betrayed them. You know, people who have nothing to hide, they hide nothing. Yeah. Okay, so now off to something else. Okay, so for some of you, um, there's pregnancy coming. For some of you, either pregnancy or you're going to be around a bunch of children. So either you're going to be around like a lot of little kids or you're going to be working at a daycare or you work in a school. If you happen to work in a school, it shows here you might be transferred to a different school. I feel like going into the new year, well, you're before the new year, you're going to get word that you might be getting transferred or they're going to give you a chance to be transferred. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be like, well, why? What did I do wrong? I feel like... You're such an asset that they might want to send you to a school that's not doing so well so that you can help that school do as well as the current school that you work at. So don't take it as like abuse or punishment. I feel like who's ever involved with all these kids, it's like a, it's an opportunity. For those of you that are trying to get foster kids or adopt, this is also a, a really good sign that things are going to go smoothly. Um, I do feel like for some of you with this high priestess, somebody's going to surprise you in a big way the first week of uh, December 2018. This could be a surprise of gifts or this could be a surprise, I'm here. Maybe you thought someone was, you know, overseas or out of state and they were going to stay out of state and they told you, oh, I can't see you. And then next thing you know, they're calling you saying that they've touched down in the state, city or country that you're in. So you've got really positive, like a big surprise, not something small, like big. So some of you will consider it a miracle. Um, okay. And then I also feel like for a lot of you that, um, that there's going to be a situation here, baby. A situation where you're going to get a really kind phone call. 
from a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. This may be somebody that you haven't heard from in like forever or you thought maybe they forgot all about you. But I feel like um, it'll be a little bit conflicting because I feel like they'll contact you and then there won't be anything of substance, but you'll just be happy at all that they contacted you. So this could be a strange children, a strange children, exes, um, people that you never got closure from, old friends, good friends. But I feel like whoever it is, it'll definitely warm your heart. And I feel like you'll, that you'll like, you'd rather have the call than not to have it at all, even though it won't last. Like it won't be like, okay, now we're friends again, or now, you know, I'm coming home now, or now we can be like typical mother child. It won't be like that, but it'll be good enough. Okay, now, I feel like some of you have a Pisces. You're gonna start a new romance with a Pisces. It looks good. I feel like this Pisces might be very, very intense, a little bit possessive, a little bit controlling, a little bit like in your business too much at first, like from day one. But I feel like um, you'll kind of explain, okay, I like you, but you can't do this, or I can't put up with that, or we can never see each other again if you continue to act nuts. And I feel like whoever this water sign is looks specifically like a Pisces man or a woman. I feel like they'll listen to what you have to say and they'll stop doing the things that they're doing to make you want to run away. <laughs> um, I do feel like some of you will be getting jobs working for either a lawyer, maybe doing like internships, apprenticeships with something that has to do with legal stuff, possibly immigration. Possibly um, you'll want to be learning the laws and studying the laws. Maybe you want to represent yourself in a case or you want to proceed with a case without representation because maybe you, you have trouble finding representation. But it looks like whatever it is that you're trying to do, I feel like it'll help other people. So for some of you, you have a family member, a friend, somebody that you know that's having these immigration issues and you want to help. So some of you may be donating your time as a translator or something big that Sagittarius is going to be doing. Um, what I just saw was a symbol for Sagittarius. And then I saw like a humanitarian award. So the fact that they showed the symbol of Sagittarius and then the humanitarian award, but it showed like the award was sort of hugging you guys. It's saying that maybe for 2019 or your whole life or moving forward, you guys have an opportunity to change humanity, protect humanity. So for those of you that are involved with human rights, with immigration, with anything that has, with environment, with animal protection, anything that has to do with protecting others or advocating for, I feel like Sagittarius, this is your calling to get out there and get it going. Doesn't mean quit your job and be like, oh, sorry, honey, I'm just going to quit my job and we're going to go live in a tent and backpack. You know, scattering berries to the, to the needy. None of that stuff. Like, be practical. You know, keep your jobs. You got to pay rent. Okay. But as far as, like, moving forward with things, like, of that nature, go for it, Sagittarius, because it's, it's, it's calling you. Okay, now... All right, so some of you have been single or you've been pining away for years for the same person that never, like, that kind of doesn't want you. So, Sagittarius, please, please open your heart to new love. Because if you do this, guess who's going to get new love? You're going to get new love. Especially if a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio broke your heart in the past. Please get over them because the, it's like... It's like some of you honestly believe that this Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, big emphasis on Scorpio, um, is really just going to wake up one day and realize that they're meant to be with you. It could have been like five years ago, ten years ago, a year ago. You guys need to knock it off because even if they were to come back, it would be like a month, maybe less, and then they would go back to their husband or their wife. Ooh, 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 here. Ew, you can't eat that. Here, let me get you another one. Um, so I feel like for, if you guys can please try to release the X. You guys have brand new love coming in. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Also, some of you have a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, man or woman that's coming in. Some of you have a, um, a Sagittarius. Not a Sagittarius. For some of you, it is Sagittarius. But I see a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius person that wants to reconcile after maybe there was some betrayal. Maybe you betrayed them. 
and they want to come back, you're, they're willing to come back to you, or you betrayed them, and now you want them to come back to you, but either way, there will be some sort of a reconciliation with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, I do feel like somebody does have serial cheater ways, and... I think that for those of you that are reconciling with this person, whether it's the Sagittarius that's the cheater or if it's the um, the other party, the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's the cheater, um, I feel like you guys know what you're getting into. You kind of know that this person is going to be a cheater, always a cheater, but like you're kind of okay with it. You know, it's like, I still want to be with you, but like I'm still going to bring this shit up every day and I know you're still doing it. It's going to be constant drama. So some of you are okay with that. Uh, that's your business. Now let's talk about work and employment. Some of you are miserable in your job. Some of you are like, I don't know if I can get up and do this anymore. If you're miserable in your job and you don't know if you can get up and do this anymore, start looking, don't quit your job. Start looking for another job because it shows here the whole month is full of opportunities. It's, I'm seeing luck, good luck symbols, prosperity symbols, health symbols, geometric codes, I don't know how to explain it. There's like a, it looks like a circle and it's sort of like divided up into different shapes, but it's like all connected and it's like sort of spinning. Um, I think that has to do with Archangel Metatron. So look up Archangel Metatron symbols um, to kind of get more information about this. But I feel like this month is all like laced with prosperity and good luck and opportunity and possibility. If you guys can kind of just focus on that and not like see yourself not succeeding and only see yourself succeeding, I feel like whatever it is that you try to do this month, it's a good month. So if you, whatever it is that you thought about doing ever, December 2018 is a great month for you guys to get it going. All right, my Saggies, have an amazing month. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.